And we're back live again with another podcast, and he has rejoined <laughs> food and he's alive. Mouse. Yes, okay. Brian is back on the podcast. So, welcome back after a couple weeks off, as work and all. Yeah, where was I? I think it was mostly work oriented. Uh, You're just one, busy with one work. week. You're in what North Carolina, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I was. Yeah. I was in North Carolina. And last week last was work. two weeks or so, I think you've just been busy working, adulting. Yeah. Even today. Even today. Yeah. More work. He's eating dinner mid podcast. Yeah. Yeah. We're allowing it. <laughs> I, I gotta, yeah, I gotta eat. I gotta eat, or I, w- or I wouldn't be eating till like seven thirty. Hey, that's around All the good. time with yeah, my family. Jeff, I usually eat. You, you're just weird. You eat really late. You hey, do. Hey, hey, that's you're the not weird my one. fault. That's the people who help make the dinner here. So I don't make dinner, FYI. You could. I could, but I, I just don't. That's that's a good point. You can't. I wouldn't trust Jeff cooking my own food. That's an accurate uh, yeah. statement there. Like I'm not sure Jeff can cook. <laughs> I'm getting there. You're getting, You're getting there? there. I'm getting yeah. there. I, I've cooked. I've been cooking more and more lately. Lately, Eggs. last few months. Eggs. I have eggs or eggs. That's that's easy. Are you sure? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. See, this, this is what I miss. I miss the banter between Brian and I on the podcast here. Because lately, within your absence, Whitmer has been giving me a lot of crap left and right. Or he's been it attempting did. to. I gave you a lot of crap for that blue Doritos. Yeah. Jeff, wait, hold on. So a weekend, weekend with me in one in one uh room house wasn't enough say again <laughs> being, being with me for like a weekend wasn't enough for me just to tear you apart no yeah it's a good little segment we can no, talk because you guys were it wasn't <laughs> you guys both were in virginia for the weekend yeah it's fun good times mm-hmm. visiting matt and tommy and megan yeah mm-hmm. it's good so how it was, was all that time. Was it? It was, it was uh, nice. It was uh, definitely, you know, much needed. Uh, I mean, I hadn't seen – I mean, I, I've seen Matt here and there, I think, before he moved to Virginia. Because when, when did Same. Matt move to Virginia? Back in July, I think. So that was July. August. It was July or August. July or August, that sounds about right. But so, uh, you know – I think it was actually – it was mid-July. It was right around the time my dad had the COVID That's scare. That's right. That's when he left. That's mm-hmm. right. But, yeah, because that um, was like a week before he had, he was gonna leave or something like that. Yeah, because yeah. we were trying to hang out like one last time before. Right, he and I kind of because. And yeah. I yeah, I went to, I went to the beach and I went to the beach. That's why. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but no, o- overall it was you know really good seeing them, especially uh, Tommy and Megan. We haven't seen those guys in quite some time, and my lights just flickered. Flickered. Are you going to lose power again? I swear to God, if we lose power again, I'm going to be so pissed. All right. We need to really hurry, hurry up this podcast. All right. So it was all fun. Matt and Tommy were very big instigators trying to get Brian and I to fight every night, basically anytime they got a chance to. Did it um, work? Surprisingly, good, good, not good. really at all. Like uh, there's one I'm tiny heard, heard scrum com- we had. There's one tiny scrum we had on the oh, last so it didn't night. Work, then. I mean, it was more so Brian being Brian. I, 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 yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> For whatever reason, there's two swords in the house. Brian grabs one because Megan goes, ooh. She, she goes, oh, yeah, Brian, there's swords in here. He goes, ooh, swords. I'm like, are you kidding me? So he grabs the, the two. Luckily, he was nice enough to give me one sword to defend myself. and so he wouldn't I could have gone me. two swords on none. Yeah. But um, yeah, so he's nice enough to do that. But it, it was fun, you know, having a little sword battle back and forth and everything. Sword so that, yeah. Sword fort, sword fort, yeah. Sword, and fu- sword battle. Sword fort. Sword yeah. battle. Yeah. Sword, I, I can't talk that. I've been, I've been dealing with people all day long, just like you have, Brian. And really, I was like, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. No, it, it's it's been a long week already at work, and it's only Wednesday. Luckily, only tomorrow's Wednesday. Thursday. So that really freaking helps. But uh, it's not Friday, speaking of though. days of the week, though, um, Wednesday. Yeah. We, I thought today. I I thought today was Thursday, and I hate myself when I found yeah, it. Honestly, I don't. I I'm losing track of every day uh, mm-hmm. nowadays. Every day feels like a Monday. 
But uh, one of the interesting things we did was we had several different kinds of rankings. We ranked all the Star Wars movies. We ranked all. Um, That's all the Marvel one you guys did. Yeah, I was say, did we, There's we, the Snap we Story, you guys. Marvels, yeah. Right? Yeah. Your, like then, your top 10 of those. No, no, that, that's what it was. I think it was just top 10. An interesting one. We ranked the day, the uh, days of the week, I think. And, the and we ranked the months. I don't know. How why. bored were you where you're bringing the days we of the months? Bored. <laughs> we weren't like bored. I don't know. Like, so like the MCU and the Star Wars one, those were legit. But after that, I honestly don't know. just went with the let's days go with of the week this. or the months. It just got started, and we, we talked about the weather. That's why we we talked about the weather a little bit. That's why. Oh, uh, that's right. And then we were kind of like, "Oh, let's let's do it. Let's rank them," and we did. And Can't just everyone, and almost everyone agreed with me that summer is better. Yeah, I can't disagree. Like June is the best. I mean, it's not because I'm biased. It's not because I'm biased. It's just because it's the truth. He's biased. Like, it's like he's biased. Not that my bias towards what summer. No, his his birthday's in uh, June. So I'm not biased. It's just like it's a truth though because it's not too hot, but it's no. really it's still hot enough to go to the beach. Mm-hmm. It, it does. It's not like when you hit like it, it's not like late July where you just want to shoot yourself because it's <laughs> yeah. so hot. It's All also right. not late in the. I feel like the early in June you can still hit the beaches without <clears throat> it being too crowded too. Yeah, that's true. Think about it. Think about like late July and like you we like I was sweating as soon as I left my house. Yeah, yeah. It was that, awful. Where Ju- where June isn't like that. June is chilly in the beginning because it's like it just ending May, so it can be chilly in the beginning in the mornings until like eleven a.m. and then it's hot. Yeah, I think the most actually run at like the pool or anything outside summer wise was around like June and July ish when it wasn't too like hot out. Hmm. But I'm also on that mindset of summer being kind of the best, but that's just kind of me. It's mostly just because of beaches, and I feel like there's more stuff to do during the summer than really any other time. But that's just me. Also, when it's cold out, I get sad because it's cold. And then I'm more. <laughs> I get sad. Oh, God. Who else doesn't get sad when it's like freezing cold? When it, when it like. <laughs> I think about when it's like. When it's summer and stuff like that, or fall, it's like, you know, it's always sunny out when you leave work or even before you go to work, it's sunny. But now, like, you wake up in the dark and you'll leave in the dark. Mm-hmm. All right. You see yeah. no sunlight. Yeah. Like, on my <laughs> way home, it was, on my way home, the sun was setting. I'm like, dude, it's only the like, eternal six, it's like 5.30. Yep. So it's like, it only, it only like 5.30. Why? Like, no. But when beforehand, it would be light till like 9 p.m. Not really 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. 8 p.m. No, I, I know what you mean, though. Yeah, it'd be uh, late, uh, lighter out later, mm-hmm. which would make it even no, that's like, even better for when you have when, when you want to like grill out or do any of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Have a fire, do any of that. Oof. Yeah, Bonfires it's, it's are almost a uh, fire season. It's always fire season. Yeah. I feel like once kind of summer starts, it's kind of fire season for me. It's All right, fire that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, dude, Brian, you, dude, you love your fires. I will 100% have a fire pit in my next house. I could see I, it. I could easily see that. It happened. I love bonfires. It's just something about just sitting there. I mean, I also like – I also have been doing that for the past like four years. I almost like two or three times a week I go to a fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Or in college, even I would do it. We'd go and we build a whole bunch of fires. So like, I always went like at least once a week to a fire. There you in go. Past like four there years, so it's like it's amazing. Fires are great until unless it was like freezing cold, like when winter hit, then we're like, no, no, because <laughs> yeah, no. then you don't want to be outside. I might be like under my covers watching Netflix at that point. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. Oh gosh, but that's better uh, than the deal anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right about that. Uh, my but, favorite, so, but my favorite thing about you guys all being in Virginia was at one point, whenever you guys were at the beach or whatever, you there was three of you where your snap stories was literally the same thing of the beach and it. where you were. I was like, wow, where are these guys? I wonder where these guys are. 
I didn't do it on the beach. Guilty. I was definitely one of them. Yes, you and Matt were. I guarantee you it was was Matt as the second one. Matt and Tommy. Or Megan. I don't know. I'm going to put my money on Megan. I feel like Tommy wouldn't do that. I could be wrong, but. I did mine in the hammock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that no, is I true. That. You did yours in a hammock. Yours was different. So I, yeah, mine was different. So, ha. <laughs> I'm different. I'm built different. Good for you. Yes, you are. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. All in all, it, it was you know going back to Virginia uh, trip for a second. You know, it was definitely a fun trip and uh, really nice uh, just seeing everyone. And um, you, know? you know, it was funny because I honestly didn't think it was going to be nice enough to go in the lake so i didn't bother bringing a bathing suit we went in the lake anyway so i just wore some short some short Jeff so. wasn't prepared to go to the lake even though we said we were Dude, going i to wasn't the lake. prepared at all you like, forgot what, shit too i forgot so much stuff dude so one all right so to be fair i well i left work early on friday uh i went down to dc to do danny first because matt wasn't around to you know, get picked up until like four or so. And then after that, uh, or so, so like on my way down to uh, DC, we get to a group chat, uh, a text from the group chat from Megan saying, hey, bring all this stuff. And I, for whatever reason, I, I like, quickly nah. glance at it. I put my phone down. I thought, I'm good. As soon as I got there, I realized, didn't bother bringing the bathing suit. Um, I completely forgot to bring a pillow, so I borrowed one from Danny. Oh, which by the way, I left at Tommy and Megan's place. How do you forget? How do you forget so a pillow? Far, do you... I, I I I don't know. I I was yeah, not with it. Not the bathing suit. It. I, the bathing suit. I can get a little bit more, just because you yeah. don't really know. Because it's October, you're not really sure right. if it would be nice enough to be in the lake. But the pillow, I don't understand. That one, yeah. I don't get. No, I know, yeah. again just. It, and then I you left it. Even, you left it at Tommy and Megan's. <laughs> yeah. So Not even your pillow. Like, I, I used one of Danny's pillows the, the one night, the only night we were there at the uh, uh, their place. The next morning, uh, we ended up going to the um, the lake house, which was like an hour away. So, and like halfway there, Tommy and I were in the car together. And I had this song like, oh, no. Oh, no. And he's like, what? I'm like. I'm pretty sure I forgot the pillow at your guy's place. He's like, all right, don't say a word to anyone because we were stopping at Walmart. He goes, we're, let's just both open up the trunk, look at the same time. If we see a pillow in there, you're good. If we don't, well, then that just sucks. So we <laughs> stop, you know, at the Walmart parking lot, <clears throat> open up my trunk. I look down. There's no pillow. I look up Tommy. He looks at me and I go, well, shit. And just slam the trunk and just keep walking. You could have so, gotten a pillow from Walmart. Wow! So, so I, it was I was able to to um, you know just use one of the pillows there at the oh, lake okay. house, but you know if, if it was my pillow, I wouldn't care. But it's Danny's pillow, and yeah. she's just got new bedding and everything, so she wasn't like she wasn't pissed, but she wasn't thrilled. I left her pillow. At, uh, no, she to wasn't to happy to that to oh that was the pillow. You just yeah. left it at your friend's place. Yeah, so I, I'm figuring out how to uh, how you know at some point whenever I'll get it back. So you know, mm-hmm. well, when you get it back, you should go get my water bottle that I left. Yeah, you left the water bottle. Uh, Jeff, I'm gonna be hundred percent honest with you too, so you're not left alone here. Yes. I didn't bring shit. Yes. Okay. See, I I could have sworn I was the only one that didn't bring it. I I brought well, I got I brought everything but a towel and a pillow. Yeah, no, I didn't bring a towel either. But but the, my thought process was, well, I didn't have a thought process because I didn't bring it. I guess. But like when so I no realized that thought it, process. But when I when I realized I didn't when I should, when I realized I didn't have it with me, <laughs> I was like, ah, it's Megan and Tommy. They'll have something for me. So I didn't worry about it. I was like, they'll. they'll right. like, there's no way they got my back. Tommy. I was like, there's See? no way Megan and Tommy are living in somewhere that doesn't have extra things. See, right. that's also why I was running through my head. I'm like, oh, like, that's fine. Like, because I could have sworn even in a text that said, don't worry about bringing towels. I had to double check on, it, on the text. It, I could have sworn I, said, I saw something like that said, uh, no, they about said bring towels. everything. He said bring everything. Yeah. Well, I hate everything. So, you know, it's fine. But we didn't. 
And like, I personally knew I was like, as I was like halfway down and I was like, I didn't bring anything. And I was like, <laughs> but Megan and Tommy definitely don't want well, I me mean, to definitely have extra shit down there for us. Yeah. Cause they're knowing, cause knowing us, they definitely forget something. For us. Especially us too. We would yeah, forget definitely, No, definitely with Je- Jeff and I going down, they're like, they're going to forget something. Mm-hmm. We need to prepare. I'm like, <laughs> I always forget. Yep. Yep. I was thinking about it. I, 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 was, I, was, I thought I had everything. I really thought I had everything because I threw a water bottle in my car, but it wasn't the water bottle I wanted, I, I was meant to bring. That was my issue. And I left a good, yeah. I left a really good, I left a good one down there too. No, no, no. I a water bottle. It was an insulated GNC like water bottle, so it kept everything cold. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that. It was, that it was an actual weird. good, it was like an actual good water, not like one of these things where it's like a shaker bottle. It was an actually mm-hmm. like metal insulated bottle. So, nice. kind of upset about that. Yeah. But, so I need to go back down and get it. <laughs> oh, just another reason why to go visit them. Exactly. That's what we keep saying. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I don't want to go down in the winter. That's cold. It's not winter yet. Kind of is. When it drops below like 50 at night, I consider it winter. Got it. Because the other day it was like 40 or 38, and I was like, yo, this mm-hmm. sucks. I was yeah. cold. Come back from work. Yeah. I, yeah, now I have to wear a sweater to work because I'm cold. Right. Yeah. yeah, I'm the same way. I was always getting away with not having to bring like a sweatshirt or anything to work because I was like, oh, it's going to be warm out. I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Now it's actually cold. I was like, okay, maybe we should actually bring a sweatshirt. Yeah, now I have to wear a sweater because it's cold. And then I have to, then I have like a pea coat in the car just in case it gets too cold. Because the other day I left my, my, I left and it was like 52. And I was Oof. like, yeah, I, like, I, I, feel like I don't you, want, I don't want you just need to keep an extra sweatshirt or something <clears throat> like that in your car. But like, I usually do. Well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> you know, I had one. I, I was prepared to. I was just like for, for today, like weather wise, I was prepared to wear like you know like a probably just like a button down and whatnot or some sort of sweater. Ooh, My dad goes, are you are you sure you want to wear that? I'm like, why? He goes, it's supposed to be like in the 70s today. I'm like, yeah. Oh. So so I went back and changed real quick though. But uh, I got I still kind of cold. Dude, it was seventy eight. Yeah, it was pretty. Warm. It was pretty nice out. I, I would still wear like joggers or a t shirt or shorts. Like, yeah, I still would. Or like short sleeves, or, like or shorts and a short sleeve, and then a hoodie over. I still do that. Got it. And like seventy eight degrees it. though. Yeah, it's not that yeah. way in the morning. When he's going to work. All right. Well, all right. If you're if no, you're during the day, so no, even that's like, fair. I would still wear joggers during maybe seventy eight. I hate you depending, so much. Depending, depending if the sun is out and like, stuff like that, then no. But pro, but there be an, uh, a strong chance I'd cons- I would consider it. You know what I would do? I would actually put them on. I put joggers on. I'm not gonna lie about this. All right. I would put joggers on. Throw a t-shirt. I would. I want to wear for the day on. And if I didn't like it enough, I'd wear shorts. Got it. What's your What's your limit there? What's the lowest or highest you're going to go before you're not wearing joggers? I mean, I love joggers so much. That's all I wear. <laughs> it really like, is. I, like every I, I wear them to, every like, time I wear them to out, bars. I wear them to bars. That doesn't not surprise me. At but like, all. If, I, if I'm gonna right, if I'm gonna get drunk, I want to be comfy. Don't worry. I hate jeans. I hate them. <laughs> Am I wrong? Though? I love that comment. I get it. That, I get it. Quote. If I'm gonna be drunk, I'm gonna be comfy. But like, just Can cut we, that out. Well, I feel like we need to make that a T-shirt for him. Honestly, I'd wear it's a, it. It's a wife slogan. <laughs> <laughs> but like, here's the thing. Like, even cutting out like the drinking part. So like, that's not a thing. Like, I wear joggers about everywhere I go, unless I have to go. Unless like. So like the one time like my friends were going to go somewhere nice. We mm. there, when did, we didn't want to go somewhere nice. We were like, oh, where should we go for dinner, right? And some of the girls were like, let's go to this place. I'm like, and I had to ask them, like, okay, what's like the dress code? Because <laughs> like, why? Well, I'm because like, I want to wear joggers. And they're like, you can't wear them. Like, <laughs> they said you can't wear joggers. I'm like, what if I wear bla- all black joggers? <laughs> nice. Does that change it? <laughs> Does that change it? Because they're all black. You can't. Yeah. Wear them. I was like, no, Brian, you need to wear like jeans or like khakis. I'm like. 
can I wear yeah. blue joggers that look like khaki or that look like jeans? Oh my god, right. Like right. now I'm like, all right, fine, I'll wear jeans. Sure. I just <laughs> like I'll wear them just in case. I just wear like I just I don't know, I am not a big fan of jeans. Like I have some ripped jeans I love to wear, but mm-hmm. I thought on a very rare occasion I will wear ripped jeans or my jeans in general. I don't mind jeans. I've been wearing them less, but I'll still wear them every once in a while. I'm not a big fan of they're too constricting. Right. Well, because I don't yeah, wear like, the pants. I don't wear like the boot cut. You know what I'm saying? It's like the it's like the the one that makes your leg look it's like ten times bigger than it normally is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really it's really baggy. I I wear very like tapered pants. Like they're not like, skinny pants. They're not skinny. No, yeah, no, when, I know what you're just saying. Just when it hits, yeah. it, just when it hits like the knee, it starts getting a little tapered down to like your ankle. Kind of like joggers. Mm. They're basically basically like joggers. Mm-hmm. Which I'm wearing right now. <laughs> really? I changed me. I walked through the door, threw on joggers and a hoodie. Of course he did. Oh gosh! I'm supposed to don't wear joggers to work. Yeah, right. He, he uh, I was gonna say he probably has because he even <laughs> before, cons- you have you have a pair of joggers <laughs> that almost look like some sort of khakis, right? No, I'm wearing so the joggers I'm wearing now are all black, like no no signs on anything. They're all black. And I've considered wearing them to work. Nice. I've been like this close to wearing them to work because they are all black, but you can tell they're joggers. Ah. Oh. Because like there's there's like those lines in the joggers that like, kind of like for the sweatpants, mm-hmm. so you can tell they're joggers. Oh uh, yeah. If they didn't have if they didn't have those massive like built lines, I'd be like, I'm wearing this. <laughs> Yeah, but if you're working from home, are you you're still able to get away with that or no? Oh, yeah, I am not dressing up if I'm working from home. Well, no, no, no. I meant like like well, I'm, I'm saying like for uh like for today, did you have to actually go somewhere? Well, I'm not working from home anymore. Oh, I, okay. yeah. Well, never mind then. Because yeah, that's that. why I was I was kind of figure I was trying to figure out like I wasn't sure because I knew you were going like to Philly from time to time and everything like that. I didn't realize that you're um. You know, you know, just uh, traveling back and forth. I didn't no, know since that you, I, no, yeah, since I moved, I've been going into the office. Yeah, never no. mind. That makes sense. So, no. and I just, I just kind of recently fully moved. Um, but yeah, yeah. So, I'm in the office now. So now I have to get up early to go into work. Okay. Yeah, I can't walk. Nice. I can't walk to three feet from. I can't walk three feet from my bedroom. Mm-hmm. Oh man, not the three feet. That's well, sometimes shame. when I was working from home, I wouldn't even leave my bed. <laughs> I'm right. not even kidding. <laughs> like even when I was working from home, sometimes I wouldn't leave my bed. I'd stay there. I'd stay in bed, use a pillow to prop my laptop up, and I'd just work. Nice. Right. Uh, that's that's pretty. It's pretty damn lazy, I will admit. <laughs> I think it's more like I'm working smarter, not harder. Yeah, I was gonna say that's kind of smart. All right, that, that's 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 fair. I'll, I'll give you that. It, it, it is it is uh, different, but it is pretty clever though. It's oh god, I don't even know. You know what? Can can today only... just be Friday night? Can I? I just want to be done with this. That'd week. be great. Yeah. That'd be fantastic, honestly. Mm-hmm. This week has gone really slow. It has. Oh my god! Like I I sent. <laughs> So I'm in a group chat with my two bosses at work. <laughs> we're, we're talking about how, like, you know, this week sucks and everything. It's just like it's like a very long week. And then I sent the one meme of uh, the the one like dog sitting in, in the room where it's on fire, and it's you know this, this is, is fine. fine. Yeah, and both of them were just losing. They're like, yeah, honestly, this is a mood right now. It and they're like, uh, the, my one boss goes. Wait, what is today? I'm like, it, it's Wednesday. She's like, oh my god. Well, that explains everything. I was like, wait, why? She goes, I'm not gonna lie, this whole day I thought it was Tuesday. She, she, she was just, she, you know, what I'm saying, she was just like so out of like, um, like out of it that like she thought it was like today was like Tuesday that like uh, she, she thought it was like a day behind because like it's been like the I was, I, I always right. get the day forward. Yeah, no, no, same. Same. Oh, Man, always. Though. Uh, but mm-hmm. you know, because she, she's getting her days all so mixed up, though. I was like, "Yeah, no, it's it's it, it is Wednesday. Like we're we're there." But um, 
yeah, she 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 was losing her shit <coughs> today. It was just funny to watch. I think this is the first weekend. This is the first weekend I'm not doing anything in like two months. That surprises me because you're always doing something on the weekends. I feel like. Well, I'm 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 kind of doing something. Explain like I'm going what to you're a brewery. Kind of doing. Like I'm I'm going to a brewery close to here now. All right, there you go. With a friend, with 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 a friend. There you go. Nice. So yeah, uh, it's a little like, thing. It's not going to take like a whole weekend to do a brewery. Yeah, it's like half, it's going to take like half a day. We're going like, to go to a brewery tour or do or get some drinks and come back. Like that's what we're yeah. doing. So that's it though. So I'm not really going anywhere because there's only like 20 minutes away from here. It's like me going to work basically. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. So that, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of doing something, kind of not doing. I'm kind of doing something because mm-hmm. I'm not leaving the area where I've no. either been going to. Back I mean, home, you can back argue home, you're, to y'all. you're doing something. I mean, you can argue, but like I'm saying, like usually on the weekends, I mean, I went to North Carolina for a week, or mm-hmm. I was going right. to the Good lake. Compared to what or, you're usually doing, or you're I'm not doing going it. to, I'm going back <laughs> home to y'all, or I went to Virginia, or the beach, stuff like that, or the yeah. beaches. So like. I'm usually going to work for a long period. Like I'm usually leaving Friday evening and then not coming back till Sunday evening. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of thing. Where this is like, I'm, I'm going to be gone for like half a day. A couple hours. Day, yeah. Day. Yeah. A couple hours. And I'll be back here. So I'll be sleeping in my own bed for like twice for the first time in like two months. Since you first moved in? <laughs> no. I just moved in not too long. Well, I've had the apartment for a while, but I haven't moved in. Right. This weekend. Mm-hmm. Wait, so, right, I can hear your dogs in the back. I know, I can too. Yeah, yeah, they do that. Dogs bark. <laughs> yes, I come up here every now like when we used to podcast, I'd come up here every now and then to like go visit friends at night because mm-hmm. like, it was mine. But I would never actually fully moved in just because like I didn't feel like it. Got it. <laughs> A little bit I of I didn't feel like it. Well, I mean, like, I wanted to, it's just, like, I had to, like, figure a date out to put everything up here, so. Oh, I gotcha. So, we're just getting, dogs. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's a mess. You're, that's what they do when you're here, so. <laughs> that's honestly true. 100% true. My hair's getting so bad, I need to get a haircut, too. I was thinking the same mm-hmm. thing for myself. Like, I, I, I need to, not only do I need to get a haircut, I honestly just need to start trying. My beard a bit up late. It's getting, it's getting uh, pretty. Yeah, weird. I was gonna say yours is pretty full. Same. Yeah. Same here. Dude, look at look yeah, at that beard there, Brian. Yeah. yeah it looks, yeah. Dude, There's it's, three uh, hairs. They're really coming in. Yeah, hop off. Hey, at least hop he's off. not like Fitz, where he just grows like basically uh, peach fuzz. Like it just is like just like nothing right here. Exactly. It's like here, and then it's like here, and there's nothing right here. So I meant I like pointed that out to him on like. Friday night or whatever. I'm like, Tommy, it's a close. <laughs> What's wrong over <with> here? <laughs> why isn't there anything? Why, like, why isn't there anything right here? It just doesn't grow. And I'm like, but there's like a full, like, pinky finger, like, width of nothingness. Oh, like, oh and I'm boy. like, dude, you need, you need to fix that. But, like, yeah. honestly, I haven't gotten a haircut up here yet in this area ever. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of terrified to, like, go try out a barber. <laughs> Like, I'm not kidding. I'm, yeah, actually, I, I I'm, actually, I'm actually terrified. <laughs> right. I'm actually having anxiety over it. Cause like, I, I don't know. Are you serious? Yeah. Cause like, I wouldn't have, I've gone to, no, but I've gone to the same barber for the past like three years. All right. right that's fair. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Well, at least the same barber shop for the past like two, like, right. two years. So right, you like, right, you right, know, right. like, yeah. You know what you like and, and before they, that, you I know went, where you're going and in. Before that, I went to the same, I went to the same place for like three, four years. So I, mm-hmm. I have like two places I've always gone. And I want to go kind to like one of these kind of places. Shop. It's because it's a chip. Yeah. And but one is a chain and it is kind of near, but it's like 20, 30 minutes away, and I really don't want to go. Mm-hmm. I want to try something new. At the same time, like I don't want to try something new. Yeah, like got it. I, I, I get it. I, I get that. Yeah. Yep. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might just let my hair grow out and never cut it because I'm too too scared to get a don't mm-hmm. grow out the man bun again. Bro, it's happening. Grow out the man bun. It's happening. It's Whitmer, happening. Whitmer, don't encourage it. You don't need to encourage Why? it. It's going to happen. Yeah, it's already happening. My hair comes out like to hear me. There you go. Yeah, that's a so just get there. To, like, just needs to get to like probably another four inches, five inches, and I'll be like, put it back, and then be all happy again. And then we'll never <laughs> and then cut be it. All happy again. 
Then so I'll if it's him. if anything, he's making it clear he's not happy at all right now. Just so you know. With his hair. I'm never happy. With my hair. No, as you say, in general, he's not happy. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not a billionaire. Well, how can he be? Ha- hold on. Wait, 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 wait. How can he be happy oh, in no. 2020? All right, that's fair. And the year that it's been, how can you really be that happy? Yeah, you can't be. <laughs> There's one reason I would be happy in 2020. One reason. Which is the Lakers when the Lakers win the finals. Okay. Because I personally, it'd be a great thing for the to win because of Kobe. I agree. Yeah, I agree. The year yeah. Kobe died to the Lakers winning the champ, the NBA Finals, like mm-hmm. phenomenal, amazing. I'm rooting for them. They're already they're up four to one or whatever, something like that. Yeah, like three one. I think they're only a the game away. Sir, from you realize four. that four to one would win this series. Yeah, yeah I know. I realized that <laughs> after I said it. I just hope that you, you do guys realize, Jeff. Notice. We're not good at math. I never said we were. Yeah. But as a sports guy, four-one series typically is a series. You know, mm. I know what I said was wrong. And I hoped you wouldn't catch it. That's why I didn't. Like I was just hoping yeah. it would go past. Dude, it's like, not going to happen. Like, yeah. Nope. It, I heard it. I what caught comes- it. I gotta <laughs> bring it up. You're talking to the person who likes hockey that you got a series wrong. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna get true. you on it. But also, like half the stuff we talked to Jeff, it's like. No, I know. It's it, true. It, there's it, a lot of those moments. So like, there's a lot there's of those moments where I'm, like, I was kind moment. of hoping for that to happen, to be like – It just goes over. just goes over. We can move on. And I knew I was wrong. Whitmer knew I was wrong. But I was hoping he just wouldn't just, get, just keep on going and not say anything. Mm-hmm. But it didn't well, happen. Well, see, like, I said something, and now yeah. it's very noticeable. It's okay. I, I accept I do agree my flaws. With the LA. Yeah, as LA's going to win. They're not gonna. Mm. They're not gonna lose. No. Nah. Honestly, I'm no not even paying attention to There's it. No what what is the series to. at right now? I know the it's Heat at one. least have. He was wrong with the number, but it's still like three one. They're like game three one at all. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I was just saying, I know the Heat have one picture, but that's about it. That's all I know. Yeah. yeah. No, they were only one once, and it was close. And who knows? The Dodgers could win the World Series, so there's two LA teams winning a championship. Dude, LA. LA is going to just tear apart teams in 2020 because for Kobe. Only reason. It's true. It'd be like 2020, and he Mickey died. Bats. We need, we, we need, yeah. Bats. Like we need it to. It like, hurts my step soul up. just hearing his words. Like it just doesn't even seem real, you know? Yeah. That's basically what started this shitty year. Pretty much, yeah. Ever since that happened, it's been all downhill from here, folks. Yeah, that's honestly, yeah, honestly true. Um, but the good thing is, the Eagles are in first place at the NFC. Somehow. And the worst division in football, yeah. With, with a 1-2-1 one, and one record. Or the, no, on the, <laughs> the or it's a first. Bro, yeah, that's so bad. Ugh. Well, at least yeah, we know whenever right. we play the Cowboys, it's just going to be a blowout because the Cowboys have no defense at the moment. Yeah, how did they lose? To, all right, you know, I'm not even going to say anything. You shouldn't say that. They, no, the no, Eagles no, no. lost to the Redskins, like, and they oh, tied no. to the Bengals. Yeah, Jeff, you shouldn't say much because, like, <laughs> we're it's, it's a 50-50 coin flip if we win or not. All right, that's fair. We're also playing the we're Steelers who are undefeated like, this weekend. The Steelers, so. are, the Steelers are going to torch us. I'm not – and then, what, in a couple of weeks, we play uh, the Ravens? They're going to torch yeah. us, too. Yeah, we're we're going to be, be fun. I'm hoping to win five games this season. That's a, that's a pretty good – With this yeah. division, we could. <laughs> yeah, right. That still could be enough sure. to win the division. And host the uh, playoff or game. Or the and then we'll go to a playoff when we host. We the get a chicken – got to Mm-hmm. 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 Here's the thing: mm-hmm. if we mm-hmm. do win the division, we play at home, right? Yeah. And then, yeah. And then, whatever team visits us gets to sh- kick the shit out of us in our own turf. Yeah. Oh, but the one thing I actually did want to bring up real quickly because I uh, saw it earlier today. Apparently, they are allowing. I think like I can't remember the actual capacity. I think it's like only like twenty five percent. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they're talking about break, allowing fans to go back into the Lincoln Financial Field. I'm going. <laughs> Tickets will be it, cheap. It's a, 
it, it's we suck. Man, a few people. It's like 20, 25 percent capacity. That's a lot. Well, I mean, talking. I did see something that's that came lot, out that's, today that, that that's not a selection. That's a lot of people. Yeah. Well, you know what? In a football arena, yeah, it's not really uh, a lot, but in terms of numbers, that's, that's, that's still a good point. amount. But it's not as much as I think I saw this today that the Dolphins are got the permission to allow the whole yes. arena. To Which be is filled. downright stupid. But the I Dolphins mean, don't really have any fans, anyway, but, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, maybe just if two like of starts, then maybe they'll pack them in. Yeah. But. I was going to say, Whitmer, just like how the New York Islanders have, like, two fans, so, you know. Yeah, there's two fans in Long Island. Yep. And that'd be about 17,000 people still allowed to go to a game. Yeah, that's almost wow. as much as the Wells Ferguson. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Yeah, that's seventy thousand is a lot of people. It is. Yeah. That's also not counting people tailgating and all that stuff too. That's a good point. Yeah. I'm gonna look that up though. Because I know what the game this week and the Steelers are allowing fans, so I wouldn't be surprised if Flint, the link is next, but that's gonna be on Philadelphia more than anything else if they allow that. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Oh. Uh, sporting events in PA can now have 15% of capacity. 15%. Up, up to max 15. Sorry. My bad. Uh, but yeah, max, so for some reason, I thought it was but, 25, but it's 15. But there max of 7,500. Okay. So cut that. Cut your number by 10,000. Yeah. All righty. So, so that's still a decent to, amount. But... Yeah, no, for sure. So, yeah, that's enough decent enough to go boo us. <laughs> <laughs> That's not piped in. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I am a huge Eagles fan, but this season's trash. Oh, oh it definitely big. is. Absolute like, garbage. Like, I don't want us to win more games anymore because we, don't, we don't deserve to. No, we don't. On how we've been playing, we shouldn't have tied. The, the Bengals should have beat us. They should have, yeah. Also, the San Fran should have kicked, our, the, kicked the shit out of us. The only good thing is that they, they played a backup. Oh, yeah, that's the only good thing is they played backup instead. And their best defensive player play. was is on IR. He's done for the season. He's on IR. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, so. so, but if they had I think the next couple games are difficult anyway, so they're probably not going to win those. I mean, it's possible. Yeah. It's not going to happen. I, I, had, I had us going above 500 and going doing pretty well, like 10 and 6. I had us going 9 wow. and 7 at best. Keyword at best. Yeah. I was ten and six. I was not hopeful for the season and now I'm mm-hmm. even less hopeful. Well every I was it say seems like every day someone else gets hurt. <clears throat> so. Yeah, seriously. So our next our next possible <laughs> win will be the Giants on the twenty second of October. Yikes. The Steelers are gonna win. The Ravens are gonna That's win. Two weeks from now, essentially, yeah. And then so, the Cowboys. Fifty fifty shot against the Cowboys. I think it's a 50 50 chance for the whole division. So, you already lost the Redskins. That's true. So. No, uh, uh, Washington football team. Washington Remember, football team. Yeah. Right, right, Washington right. Washington football team, a team that has no name, beat the Eagles. Yes, they did. Go, Eagles. I count six more losses. I could see it. Uh, I'd still take the division. Yeah. I'd still take the division. <laughs> And those, those losses, I would say, it's those losses are definitely one of the losses. ugliest years ever in football history for a division winner. Mm-hmm. They're also none of these the playoffs teams deserve too, so. a playoff spot. Absolutely none. Not even a wild card spot. They don't do, deserve the division. They don't no. deserve a wild card spot. But one of them is going to get the division because, you know, football. Yeah. Yep. No, I was going to say I count six more losses because of the definite losses. It's like against. Steelers, Ravens, Ravens, Seahawks, oh, yeah. Packers, um, Saints, and somebody else. I can't remember who I just saw. Uh, but those are definitely well, We still got to play the Cowboys and Giants twice. Correct. This is mean, much, this the is Giants what, are without Saquon Barkley, so. Yeah. That's true. Steelers are next. That's a loss. Chuck that as a loss. Then the Ravens. Chuck that as a loss. Then we go Giants. Cowboys, Giants. Possibly three ties. <laughs> possibly three ties. Possibly three wins. Possibly three losses. 
Yeah. Not sure about those. Those three are up in the air. Then we face the Browns, and I say it depends how the Browns are, been, are playing up to that point. If you have Odell playing like it did on Sunday, you're probably going to lose. Gonna lose yeah. And then we have the Seahawks. Then we have Green oh, Bay. God. And then we have the Saints. And then we have the Cardinals all back-to-back. That we play 14 at all. Mm-hmm. I say we're, we're, we're going to go on a four-game losing streak. I could see it. Yeah, we're losing six games. Can we bring hockey back, please? Do you think it changes um, anything going into next season, though? If that is the case? Yeah, goodbye, Wentz. Like, I'm not saying that because I like Wentz a lot, but I think if he doesn't do well this season, yeah. you know, like, look, look, look what he's done already. Is, he did – this is the first year of his, what, five, six-year new deal, something yeah. like that? Yeah, the issue you – no, know, so the issue is, is – when you wait, if you want to trade him, because you can't get rid of him, but if you want to trade him to get rid to get that cap space off, right? You're going to have to convince whatever team picks him that his previous self is what's going to come out. You can't say like, oh, you know, I mean, he did a decent job because he's not doing a decent job. But he, he's, you you can't if he was doing okay, you know, and it's a defense that wasn't winning games, you could be like, all right, like you know, and we still want to yeah. get rid of him. You could do that, but he's not playing well. Nah. So you have to base it off his past games if you want to get rid of the cap space. It's true. Which I don't think we will, but I think he'll be on the hot seat for the next season. It definitely is possible. It sucks saying that, but it's true. It's uh, Because, yeah. again, why would you pick a – I go back to it. Why would you pick a high second-round pick? That's yeah, crazy. that's – if you don't Everyone talks about the, the Packers QB. doing that. But. Yeah. And think of, if you don't plan to use the QB that much – you could have picked a sixth rounder, a fourth rounder, a fifth rounder. That's true. Not gonna you lie, you could. Yeah, I'll, I'll put this way. Not gonna lie, if the Eagles season just goes to hell even more, They're I wouldn't be Hurts surprised out. if they just give Jalen Hurts the starts. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't be yeah. surprised. Everyone's yeah, always. That's three. the only excitement that anyone ever gets in these games is when he's in there for like two seconds to hand off the ball. Oh, there he is. Oh, and he's yeah. gone. Because it's our second round pick. Why else would you use it? You could have used it yeah. for a running back. You could have used receiver. it for a receiver, a state, like a defensive player to help. You know? An offensive lineman. You, you, you complain about once not having the weapons, right? So why mm-hmm. would you pick a QB at, at second round pick? You could have picked another wide receiver. Let's go with the one you got in the first round. Yeah. You're two, you, get, you get a first and second rounder. And then you move on, right? But also, you have uh, Ertz, who's still doesn't have his contract yet, too. Extended. You got, you got, you got to pay that boy. Yeah, I said the same. Th- yeah, I would have I, said the same thing about Jenkins, but he's now in New Orleans again. So. Yeah, but you got to pay that. You got to pay Ertz because if you don't, then. All right. Yeah. You lost one of the best tight ends in the league, and you go up against somebody in the part who's gonna, with a better QB, mm-hmm. most likely. Where he ends up, you know? yeah. So, I think Fun if times. they don't do well this season, Wentz is going to be on the hot seat. I think Peterson Sadly. will be too. I think so too. Especially it's, if he still makes is, questionable calls like that uh, punt, punt in the overtime. Yeah, that punt. Just go for it. Yeah. It's 12 seconds left in the game. You're going to either. Like you know, just just continue. yeah. Mm-hmm. You're gonna tie it, or you're gonna go at least at least if you tie it. So this is what I thought when he punted. Right, it told me two things. He doesn't trust his QB to throw make passes, and he doesn't trust his defense to make a stop that that close to the goal line. Nope, nope. That means he's like, okay, I can't get it far enough down with Wentz. So I need to punt it to give my defense 70 yards to go to defend the ball for 12 seconds. That's pretty damn bad. Yeah. Like, that's what I got from it personally. That if you missed your goal, what, what were they on? on the, they were on the, what, like the 35, 40? Somewhere around Something like that. No, they're on the 40 because they, they're not kicking at the 30. They're kicking at the five forty 40-ish, right? Yeah. And then they got the penalty that moved them back more. Right. So like 40, say, 40, say 45 they're kicking from. So he was hit, that was supposed to be hitting a 45-yarder, right? Yeah. 45-yarder. Mm-hmm. 
that means you don't trust your defense to stop half half the field. No. Use half the field to stop twelve seconds from a rookie QB. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. Yeah, it's still bueno. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see sports. how it goes. <laughs> At the moment, it does. Yeah. But Doc Rivers is here, so. That's true. I saw that. Doc Rivers. Maybe he'll turn around the Sixers. Hopefully. <clears throat> That's well, all I got for. how it's going. Oh, yep. One more thing. This is how it's going to go for the Sixers. We're going to be everyone's going, oh, they're so good. And then we go face an actual good team. They're going to kick the shit out of us like the Celtics did. Yeah, probably. No, you're not wrong. We're like, oh, we're so good, and then we go to the playoffs and we get swept. Yeah. Maybe you should have By the way, uh, it yeah. wasn't even good. It wasn't even good games. It was just they just nah. torched us by twenty points. So like, all right. mm-hmm. yeah, maybe you should have kept Jimmy High Butler. Fives. High fives all around. <laughs> yeah, and then he went to the Heat, and now they're they're in the finals. championship game. Yep, finals. But they're losing by a lot. It's true. Still there. Still gonna lose. Damn it, Whitmer. <laughs> all right, that's all I got for today. So, yeah, nice short podcast, but nonetheless, still fun. 